everyone who's always called the morning blend. Now, the morning blend, I take issue with you even as you read the issues of the day as it relates to national importance and things happening in our country. I take issue with this particular issue. Yesterday, uh, someone being on your show, a lady, a doctor, speaking about the Creole. Now, maybe the Bahamian people, most of us might not have been educated uh, in respect to the word Creole, and we might need to do a little more reading in respect to the definition. However, I, I put it to them. I am the young man and the only young man in Bahamian history who holds the records and the oldest records in respect to the oldest names in Bahamian history. And so I caution um, this station. I understand, too, you all have a show, Creole-speaking show. You see, this is an English-speaking country. And this is what the lady was talking about yesterday. Huh? Yeah, man, I love the show. And I listen to me. I 1,000% down with Bahamians, whether you're Creole-speaking, Jamaican-speaking, uh, uh, with the Chinese Mandarin speaking, yes, we should learn these things, but not mandatory. You see, no one makes my children change the language. Okay, he gotta go. Say he don't want. People who didn't listen to the show yesterday. I listened to the show, bro. What? Our good doctor Seymour told us yesterday. Mm -hmm. Who was a professor of English studies at College of the Bahamas. That what we think is our dialect technically is a Creole. Creole has nothing to do with Haiti right. or uh -huh. French so or if whatever. That's... Any language can be considered a Creole. Any language. What Haitians speak All language is, a, is a French Creole. Mm -hmm. They a also speak French, French Creole in probably Guadeloupe and Martinique, a different type of French Creole. We speak an English Creole. And okay. in Jamaica, their patois is their English Creole. Is that's their what form saying. of it's English Creole. To do about and Haiti. that's what I agree with, the show. However, then that makes then every language a Creole of the real, true, and first language, which was the Hebrew people language. The Hebrew language. Every language came from there. And on that point, I caution not only this show. This, excuse me. This is an English-speaking country. This is the records of my grandfather's generation. I'm glad he put it on the for format like that. However, what well, if you listen to the show, some of the concerns of the people who don't understand, because I was even taught that. I never knew that. I always thought Creole was, was a, and, and technically what I thought was correct. I just didn't understand the full thing, like the doctor placed it. So we are down with people who come to our country and they speak other languages. Your constitution gives them that right. And I don't think uh, uh, it should be changed. It should always be there, right? So this is what I want to say. The, the boys is getting ready to go to work. And when, a, when you put a bunch of lions in one pen and all of them hungry, you hear a bunch of roaring. All right. And so that's why I believe it. Per capita, the Bahamian male, as it relates to the Bahamian male, per capita per, around the world, we, with our natural resources in the palms of our hand, all right, where we can take care of ourselves and our family, there will be no lack in this country. So to all justices of our country, the Bahamas, you know, some, something happened in the past. I represent, these records represents the flag of the Bahamian people that lived. And no doctor in this earth is going to change these records. You understand? This book was printed by these people. Okay, in 19, from 1976, two years later, Hubert Alexander Ingram and Perry Glaston Christie was introduced to the Bahamian people into the Bahamian politics. Enough said about that. This message today is not about them. It's about these people and their flag and the life they lived. These are the records. Three books, okay, of the Acklands, Cricket Island, and Long Key Association. And these are indeed the records of the forefathers who labored. These are the names of everyone, okay? From Lovely Bay to Chester's, 
from Chester's to Pinefield, from Pinefield to Hard Hill, Anderson, then Hard Hill, and from Hard Hill all the way down to Snow Corner, where these records and the president and the people of these books gathered in respect to the Auckland's Crooked Island and Lonky Association. I don't care where they gather now. They have heard the voice of Willis Miller Grandson long enough. I stand up for these people. So these are the records of the fourth time, and somebody holds the records of these days and time. I have skipped over my mother generation. So you do you think I care about what records the Acklands Cricket Island and Longy Association have today? Excuse me. No, absolutely don't. I care about these. These people are dead and gone. And when these were signed, there was no independence at all. There was no majority rule at all. There was family. These people only could have recognized family. All was thinking as one. These are the flags in 40 years that has come to light in a way that the government of our world perhaps bet against. Well, if we were playing for the world, Guess what? Who would be the good pharaoh back in the seat of the pharaoh? Once again. Now the Holy Scripture said there was a good pharaoh who treated Joseph. Huh? The seed, you see. The seed, the pharaohs, is the power of this world. The system of this world. And God is saying, there was a time when the system of this world... I don't care how much men change the system to what the, the system is today. There was a time when the Pharaoh system loved the seed of Israel. Well, guess what? All of history as it relates to Kush. Your push? Us from Kush. Now, you must deal with records far back as 1969, February, whatever this is, um, February the 7th, all right, it's the 7th, you did the 7th, this is, um, yeah, the 7th day, okay, the 7th day. I guess, or well, the first, this looked like a one to me, but it could have gone for a seven, but the, let's say it's the first of February, 70, based on, and I changed it to that based on what I would have read, okay? So, now here we go. We have some of, our, as, as you know, as you could notice, some of the pages was destroyed. Um, I was, I did not get, in, get to it in time. With the blood of my father and the blood of these people. <laughs> Madam Christie, you're the wife of the Prime Minister. Hannah's are in this book. Their names are in this book. Loftus Roca, father. A great, 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 awesome man. His name was Elkin Roca. He was the he was one of the greatest person and and, uh, and one of my favorite person ever lived and living in that island is called Hannah. I can't remember his first name. I'd have to think, think, and think. Um, but his, he's a Hannah, and he's still alive. He used to work to BTC, Patelco. He gave me the name 10 cents. So I must be worth at least 15 cents by now. These records make me weep when I realize who these people was. 1971, Brother Willis Miller, dues, vines, taxes, everything is paid. Everything. 1971, 1972, 1973, paid up to date. 1973, I arrived. We're missing a page right that we're here. Someone tore it out, but that's fine. You see, who tore it? God 
knows. All right? Brother Ferguson's Jews. Ernest Ferguson, his Jews, paid up. Now, there are people who feel as Joe that history is supposed to go silent. Um, Brother Taylor's is paid up as well. Claygon Taylor. Brother Bain. Luther E. Bain. His Jews was paid up. 1971, 72, 73. I arrived in Acklands in 1973. Brother Clifford Bain. 1971, 1972, 1973 was paid up. Brother Osborne Cox, family of my Grammy, the wife of the president of this association, the ACLA. Brother Osborne Cox, Jews, was paid up. Everybody was paid up. Brother Leonard Kemp, his dues was paid up to date for 1971, 72, 73. I arrived in Auckland in 73. Brother Elisha Williamson, that great, great person, if you didn't get to know their generation yet, I would have been too young to reason with great men like that. I lived in their time, though. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, paid up to date, brother. Elisha Williamson. I remember Elisha Williamson very well. Brother Arthur Stevens was paid up. These are the names, Mr. Christie, Mr. Ingram, that I relish and treasure. As, as special treasures. These people, Jews, they, in other words, they were in, not out. These are the people who paved the way for us, for y'all to have what you have today. I honor them this way because you all won't do it. And it wouldn't have been done had I, had I not done it. Brother York Roll and Sister Lily Stevens, wife of Arthur Stevens, or whatever she was, I assume that's what she was, because he's a founding, when he's a founder, he, she, these people was married, they was married people. Dues, these people, dues, are paid up word. They were paid up. Now, I'm gonna place with these records, with this particular tape, the account. My account, I'm not a thief, I'm not a beggar, I'm asking the world to please assist me in what I would need to preserve these records, to keep going and teaching the world a lot of, about my family and my part of this kingdom and what I own and have the hereditary, sovereign, independent, democratic, will too. All right? Let me go on. Sister Lucy Ferguson, Sister Lilla Mae V. Cox. Dues. Everything paid up. Everything paid up. Everything paid up to date. Okay? Now, Sister Nellie Cox, Sister Thelma Ferguson, all their dues. These the ladies also what made it happen for their families. When these men were on the high seas, these men, these ladies were in the field, and what we call farm, they worked 
half an island to get one little couple of dollars. This is what they were plucked true to make the money. Now we wonder why this morning. I'm hungry. Not because not I can't find food. But yet I'm hungry to, to compare with I need, according to the Constitution, want supposed to be far away from us because these people, I'm in the position today to affect great change because of these people. Not because what's in my pocket, because what's in my heart, I was taught by these people. Your family, your families. These, my home, that were illegally taken from me by ruling of a justice, Milton Evans, in my humble opinion, flies in the face of these people's homes. Because when I analyze things, a lot of these persons who know the truth about these records and these are the minutes and I can go I could go on my Grammy is coming up okay but I stand because if I would not know the word of God calling the Holy Scripture if it wasn't for that woman period thanks be to my mother the records of Snark Corner Acklands okay Snark Corner is one of the settlements in an island in the Bahamas where the association hall resides. It was in a dilapidated state. Never to rise again. In 2011, January of 2011, when I visited Acklands and retrieved these documents, not knowing that these were even going to be there, because before that, I wouldn't have been to that island for many, many years. However... My grandfather came to Nassau. His spirit came to me when it was time for me to do my part to help him. I was betrayed by his oldest son, Ashlyn Miller. Anton, you're inspector of police. You're guarding the governor general um, person acting according to the Constitution on behalf of reigning sovereign Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary II. Our grandfather fought in the war in nineteen four in the in World War Two. Fought, whether he, whatever he did, and were chosen to do, he caused men to be able to do what they had to do to win a war. He's a winner. He was on the side of the winners. But yet, he was not counted to be anything and to get anything for what he did, in respect to winning. Why? Because you fight at the end of the day, the black man lose? No. All of us succeed. God is for black and white. He's not black and he's not white. He's not white and he's not black. He is all of us doing righteous good things. A lot don't, lot don't like it, but I don't care. Because guess what? Y'all don't care about God, some of y'all. So why should I care about why should I hide me? Or why should I take some illegal gain from some corrupt po political politician by throwing my lot in some purse with some other corrupt people that I don't know? But all of a sudden, after all these years, y'all you all need me? Well, guess what I will do? I will go back to Grammy Boy, my grandmother. Huh? Let's find Emily Cox Miller. Hmm? Come, 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 come. Let's go back. All right? We have everybody name. Everyone name. Who's anybody? So, if any man or woman move, let's start right back here on page number eight. Nellie Cox, Jews and Fines was paid up. Okay? Let's turn this a bit. Paid up. All right? And at the end of the day, Thelma Ferguson's dues was paid up. Sister. Okay, I called her name before. Um, which was Del, um, Sister Delamay Ferguson. Sister Hazel Ferguson. All right? All these people's dues was paid up. Theresa Cox's dues was paid up. Sister 
Kemalitha Ferguson's Jews to pay it up. On page 11 is where you would find, strangely enough, in respect to Willis Miller, 1971 Brother Willis Miller, Jews and Finds, page 1. I didn't write these. Conveniently, his wife, her name is on page 11, as you can see. Okay? Emily Cox. Okay? Emily Cox is her name. All right? And Sister Mary J. Cox. Okay? Dues was paid up. Everybody was paid up. Page 11 was Emily Miller, the wife of the president, Willis Miller. And we can keep going on to page 12, where you'll find Sister Clarinda DeVoe and Sister Lynn Pender Jews. Pinder's in there too. Ryan, Pinder. Pinder's in here too. Okay? And Sister Vera Ferguson. Oh, by the way, talking about Vera Ferguson, Vera Darling is also in these records too. Okay? And so we go on and we can go on. Sister Elamay Ferguson, again, we have different Lily DeVoe, Sister something Ferguson, Leutha, Leutra. Then you have Ehud, Ehud Ferguson, Brother e, Ehud, 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 Sarah Colley, Sister Sarah Colley, Sister Priscilla Hannah, Priscilla Hannah. Okay, Brother Orlando, Orlando Ferguson, God bless all these people, spirits, may they rest gloriously in peace. Now, Sister Joanna Darling, Sister Maxine Ferguson, all these, all these Jews, X, three X's is here in the book to that. So, some Ferguson got three X's. Okay, I don't know the meaning of that. All I know, three X's, four X's, pardon me, is there. I'm moving along. You see, so, and we can keep going on. You know, we can keep going on with their names in respect to honor. Their family's still alive. Now, I'm lifting up the blood-stained banner of your parents. I skip over mommy and daddy who's the, representing those who at age 70 years of age now between if you're if you if you between 50 and 70 if you you're 50 years old 70 and or, and 70 I speak to y'all okay and I simply say the natural resources of our country belongs to the seed now. And I'm speaking to the system called Pharaoh. The evil Pharaoh. Because listen now, the history book says there was a good Pharaoh and then there was no more good Pharaoh. Another Pharaoh came who did not know Joseph. Now maybe this crew here did not understand the crew, meaning this world general assembly in respect to the United Nations General Assembly, did not understand what their level signed in respect to the 1949 document of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that caused our 1973 preamble of our Constitution, Bahamian Bahamas Constitution, 242 Constitution, to make some sense. That should be enshrined. No corrupt men and women in power today who know they are have great question have, have 
all things being equal? Now, I'm not going to point no more fingers. I'm going to be very guided by how I point fingers. But I'll tell you this. If anyone take an attempt any further to embarrass me in my neighborhood, among my, my neighbors, knowing I have extreme talent, that everything being equal and balanced in respect to culture, according to these people, you could not go in the boat, you could not go in the sea until you don't do your work in the house first. Then you are allowed to go in the sea. If you, as you grew older, you learn the principles of the home first. Then you were taken out where that which you would have learned at home now would be spread, shared abroad. That is what is the meaning of these flags. Y'all want to see what my Bahamian flag in 2000, what I'm going to be waving? I'm waving it now in the name of God most high. Huh? This is what puts me on top of the world. Not what I have created. But what these people, in respect to their religion, believed in blackness. One, unity. At the time, they were being destroyed, discriminated. Discrimination was like water around the Bohemian Islands, okay? We have an or, 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 or white sand. There would be no drilling for oil. In our waters. If these people see cannot even get something to eat now, after all these, what, seven, almost eight billion by the time or more, it's going to be well, one billion in a year, Mr. Christie, how do you justify that? And Amos J. Miller Israel, who helped you to become prime minister, who helped you to become leader of your party, would have been disrespected by you, sir. You have three DVDs. You have letters that I wrote. It's good to keep certain things and to keep certain things on the wrap. But sir, I will show you. I gave you copies. Copies. That had you assist me like you promised on the 21st of December 2011 that you would do. Okay? Providing, in the, in, like you would have said, in a couple of months you would be in government. Well, you know, it's not, you can't help everyone. But I want you to know, I only asked you to feed God's people on my behalf, on behalf of these people. This is what they would be saying. Feed God's people. We are, listen to me, every last one of us is a little God now, because some misguided, in my view, for 40 years, I was misguided. And thanks be to God, in September, technically, August, September of 2010, the year 2010, I got a revelation that changed my life. And by the 24th of November 2010, it was the spirit of light that came and illuminated my life. You know. I then start to understand what these records in this day and time really, 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 really symbolize. These people set up a church in Pinefield, Acklands to memorialize everything that was signed in respect to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. These are my defense as it relates to the corruption in my home that I had to expel because the woman brought man into my home and then wanted to leave. And I said, both of us, though, are guilty. She said to me at the end of the day, she leaving me for bigger and better things. Years later, she's saying things isn't everything. Now she's saying what? You see, I don't care which Bahamian woman, how much money you make, you do not expel or negate the fact that these people lived if you're a Bahamian woman. I believe that under the Constitution, a woman should, wherever she have a baby, 
If she's a Bahamian once, she's a Bahamian for life. Her child should become a Bahamian. However, the children that Bahamian women have for Bahamian men, the seed of these, and uh, these children in general, but the Bahamian seed, meaning the fathers, the Bahamian fathers. If these Bahamian fathers was given an equal opportunity to, pro to provide by the grace of the Lord from the resources of their country, if the country collectively said we go in tourism, then in tourism there should be a place for everyone. Serious agreements were signed in respect to foreign direct investing investments coming into this country and investors um, that's what we thought they were, what they were and that's what they are. But you see there's two types. You have the invaders foreign direct invaders now in respect to the WTO in respect to a whole lot of other issues this country in 1973 was proclaimed you see to be a sovereign nation her majesty the reigning sovereign queen elizabeth alexandra mary the second and her house her home must know we are sovereign under our faith according to the universal declaration of human rights and the Bohemian Preamble, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948, and the Bohemian Preamble of our Constitution and our Constitution, 1973. Yet, a lot of things is uh, left to be desired. But the principle of the preamble is what is fundamental, like these books. Okay? These books, you, you know, is fundamental. You see, this might have 1976 on it because by the time they were ready to, act, to let out into light, in respect to whatever, whatever information you will find in this particular book. In 1976, these ones were being, were, 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 would have been around, okay, from 1965, okay? That's 11 years difference, one and one. One plus one is two. So... What I do is this. With the blood that was shed, I bring the history of the original sailor men. Paul, let me tell you something. They could have sailed. My grandfather, I sailed with him. Mm -hmm. This is what y'all want, but this is what y'all gonna get. The day is the 26th day since the ruling of Justice Milton Evans. I have asked repeatedly, I was advised by my attorney to take in writing something to that place requesting the documents in respect to the transcript and most importantly his preferred order of the case heard before uh, the Supreme Court on the 31st of May 2013, case number 01341 the transcript I'm being denied the transcript I'm being denied the preferred order how and when do I make a defense so so what they're gonna do wait until July 15th to send the bank with some corrupt police officer uh, uh, or, or, or system corrupt police system to what evict me of my land when they know. From the ruling was made, I had 14 days to appeal, and I did everything in my power to request